haven't had success for such mm. a long time. Uh, in fact, I think we can show you uh, you enjoying some of that success, uh, Tim Horn. Here it is. There's a Blows Low Cup. It's a very good drinking vessel. How many beers does it fit? Yeah, I think uh, that, that year, I think it was uh, 32 and a half cans wow. of four inch. So I filled it up. <laughs> Just got that last half in. But, uh, I mean, these players, it's been 10 years since... Well, no player in this team has had the chance to drink out of the Blood of Slow Cup. So, you that... know you know what, Timmy? If they win it this year, Curtly Bill and James O'Connor can take it to every Hungry Jacks around <laughs> Australia at four in the morning. They can do more than drink out of it. They'll have the key of the city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but it's, a, it's an issue because uh, your new coach, Ewan McKenzie, and um, his first two test matches against the best team in the world yeah. against the All Blacks. So it's a big test for him. Who's he going to pick at number 10, Quade Cooper or Matt Tamua? Uh, does he go with the safety of Matt Tamura or does he put the X factor in of Quade Cooper? Ewan McKenzie and his selectors has to pick a team to beat the All Blacks. It's a, it's a pretty big litmus test for, for Ewan McKenzie and his coaching staff. And the other name, of course, is James O'Connor. Uh, he was at number 10. Does he w push out to the wing? Does he get a, on the bench? Yeah, I'd say he'd be on the, on the wing um, or, or at fullback. It depends whether Jesse Mogg gets his um, first start in Test Rugby at fullback and whether Ewan McKenzie has enough uh, you know, faith in a young player like Jesse Mogg. He's had a, it's a brilliant season. And he's got a good left boot as well and you need that against the All Blacks. No Dan Carter. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's huge. It's the, it's the best opportunity for this Wallaby team to win a Test match at home for a long time. Seems to be some rules changes which are kind of come to, uh, to being first in this test match mm. uh, where the packs actually have to bind first rather mm. than, than the, the massive collision which is like a car accident. Mm. My only concern about it is that we may now see fewer cauliflower ears <laughs> in the game. Some beautiful things like oh, that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Graham Roundtree. Graham Roundtree. He was the, the, the forwards coach mm. for the Lions, mm. isn't he? Yeah. Uh, is that a sad thing for you? Uh, I, I don't cool. mind, as long as the scrums are quickened up. It looks like it's going to slow the scrums down a little bit, the engagement, and get the uh, the two packs a little bit closer together. So it's more of a safety aspect for younger kids as well. The other thing, the great thing about this contest is the harker. It's mm. just such a wonderful thing to see, that confrontational uh, moment when the uh, New Zealand team faces up to the others. Uh, now, have you enjoyed the harker experience? Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a great culture. It's something that everyone loves to see in a, uh, an all-black match. And I played 23 times against the all-blacks mm -hmm. and faced the Harker 22 times. It's that 23rd time yes. that I'm interested in. Uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised to know, Timmy. Uh, this might be... What year are we talking? Uh, 1996 in Wellington. Windy yep. Wellington, that was. And you can see us just doing some ball drills there and the, the all-blacks doing the Harker to no-one but one cameraman. And, Whose um, idea was this? Uh, John Eels, it was his idea, and the coach, the late Greg Smith at the time, decided to do it. I think it's one of John Eels' biggest regrets, but they won the game, I think, 43-6. So <laughs> <laughs> did you think at the time, when you were in those drills, you think, oh, it just this yeah, doesn't didn't feel, feel right. right. It really? didn't feel right, yeah. yeah. The Harker, it's, it's quite ferocious these days. They, you know, the, the whole neck well, the Cobra thing. Apunga. Yeah, 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 which is like... The one from we've found here, I think it might have been 1973, not quite so scary. Have a look at it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy's playing the banjo. <laughs> <laughs> They're not in sync, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Dawn, Dawn, hey. Dawn, yeah, Dawn friends actually voted for them. They got through to the next round of Australia's Got Talent, which is... I love it! <laughs>